All right, we are back with a video about how to access the GPS. Um, I'm working on an Android device, and I have basically just taken most of Unity's code from the documentation on GPS, um, accessing location, and just copied and pasted it into a GPS script. I took the GPS script and attached it onto one of my game objects, and then I added a couple of things like um, this output text so that I can see my actual GPS coordinates on the screen. So in order to protect my own location on my build version, the one where it says build and run, like that kind of version, um, I have edited so that it doesn't actually return my actual GPS coordinates. So you guys unfortunately won't be seeing uh, my current location. But I'm gonna go back to Samsung Flow and connect to my phone and then I'm gonna go back into my uh, AR playground here just a moment it should give me control uh, I guess it doesn't want to give me uh, my mouse pointer I have to click on allow and momentarily it should be showing my GPS location so that's what we see here got my GPS location and everything looks cool. Um, latitude, longitude, altitude, um, kind of like the accuracy, horizontal accuracy, and then this is a time reading. So it's pretty cool, the outputs you can get from GPS in Unity. And I'm gonna show you how to do that um, in the script. What did I actually do to get this to show up on the screen? Um, if you remember, this is my same gyroscope scene, which I realized it's Samsung Flow that does the rotation. So that's the reason why this thing is rotating. So if I go back into Unity, I can show you what's actually going on. I've just got the simple GPS script here. I copied and pasted most of it from Unity's official documentation. Um, do remember, this is not the exact script that's running on my phone because I don't want to give away my own latitude and longitude. But more or less, it's pretty much the same. So um, public text GPS out. This is simply the text that I've placed into my scene. So I just right clicked UI text. I put a text in my scene right over here. I anchored it and stretched it so it's center mid and stretches to the full screen length. I used a best fit font size so that um, it will of course fit onto my screen. And that was just so I could read it. So it really doesn't do a whole lot, but it's cool to read and kind of get an idea when your GPS is changing. Let's go back to the script. Um, I do have an update function running, so I'll tell you kind of like what that is. Uh, basically, I'm using a bool to see if I'm currently checking the GPS value. If I am, then ignore it. If I'm not checking the GPS value, then I'm going to start checking the GPS value. I'm using a coroutine, which is an IE numerator. So um, for that, if you aren't familiar with it, it just looks like this, and it basically just does a function call that's asynchronous. So it'll happen. Um, on the side and then whenever I start checking my value I just change my bool so that it's the opposite of what it currently is that way I'll, I won't have like multiple coroutines running I don't want multiple running at the same time it has to be just one by itself so um, the IE numerator what it's actually doing first thing is we have to check if we have permission this is really important otherwise if you don't have permission your app is not going to work until you get permission so if I have not authorized permission for the find location, then what I'm gonna say is go ahead and ask for permission for finding course location. Simple as that. So I'm just gonna ask for permission, great. If they grant me permission, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get stuff to happen. So I did put in, um, if input location isn't enabled, then I'm just gonna wait for three seconds before I do anything else. So if I'm still asking for permission, I'm gonna give them about three seconds to respond. If you want, you can make this a little bit longer just in case they need more than three seconds. So after that three seconds, I'm gonna start my location services. I'll wait up to three seconds while it pulls the data, while it looks for my current location. And then um, if I've got my current location, then great. I'm gonna go ahead and print all of that into my text. If I don't have my current location by the time the three seconds is up, it's just gonna give me one of these messages. Now at the very end, after I've printed my location, then I want to stop my location services, change my bool, and then possibly restart this process. If you want, you technically don't have to stop location services. You can just do this like multiple times, just keep doing this loop. Um, otherwise, 
that you could just stop it and restart it. They both work. So you saw it change on my device. The, the accuracy and the timing was changing. But that's it to GPS. I copied and pasted most of this. Here are the things that I actually wrote. I wrote these two lines. I wrote this part of it. Um, I did change the enumerator from start to get location because start will actually call itself in the beginning. I added the permission. So that part, I'd say that's kind of necessary. Um, and I changed the max weight down from 20 to like three seconds because I think 20 is kind of ridiculous unless they're out in the middle of nowhere. And I think I changed that line just a little bit. Everything else is the same, more or less. This one's, um, that one's my own. So in my actual build version, uh, the reason why you guys won't be able to see my actual latitude and longitude is because I did change this line in the build version so that it's not going to show my current position. But that's it. Um, play around with GPS. If you're having trouble, leave a comment below, and I'll try and respond to you as soon as possible. Good luck, and see you guys in the next video.